Hi, this is Mark from the Gaming and Tech Crew, and today I'm going to show you how to make a face cam, which is basically the thing in the corner, which you sometimes see if you watch like any gaming videos, like the Oscast, for example. Because sometimes they put it down here, but it's usually up here. And um, it shows your face while you're playing, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, you go to File, click Open Quick Template or whatever. I'm going to show you on Quick Template. You go to File and you Screen Recording. Then, once you have that, you go File new movie recording and once you have that what you do is you start the this recording and then um make sure you have seconds here if you don't look at another video on how to do that basically like count like five or ten seconds or basically whatever you want it doesn't actually matter but it kind of makes it easier later um and what you do and then you would um Yeah, and then you would start this recording 5 or 10 seconds before the screen recording, 5 or 10 seconds before the movie recording. And basically, you go through all your stuff, and then once you end, you end this one 5 or 10 seconds um, be either before or after the movie recording, doesn't really matter. And, or you end the screen recording 5 or 10 seconds um, before or after the movie recording, doesn't matter. Um, and then, and I'll. And now I'll show you how you edit it in iMovie. I'll probably no do another one in Final Cut Pro, but uh, I need to upgrade my computer and like, yeah, I just have to run on my computer because I'm running Lion or Mountain Lion or whatever. I need to upgrade to the newest, which is Mavericks, I believe. And Final Cut Pro only runs with Mavericks, or the newest version, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, let's go over to the editing part. Hi, and this is the second part of making um, your face cam thing. So what you do is I'm going to go to iMovie, which is in my search. Because I'm too easy to put it in my desktop. <laughs> oh, go to iMovie. That's what it was for five years. Oh my god. Uh, no. Uh, let's create, create a new project. Create. Uh, delete all these. Project entire clip. Um, so what you do is you go to file uh, file what no file import movies um I have to find my thing and there it is you know the names I made them up in like two minutes so it's really a screen face cam screen so you do is you import both of them which may take a while Okay, so now that that's done, um, oh, hello, gorgeous. Um, what you do is you take your screen recording, which is really loud because, and you put it up here. Well, first thing you need to do is you go to File, oh no, I'm going to Preferences. And check show advanced tools because that you need that to um this. Then you select. No, actually, before you do that, you need to get the timing right. Uh, um. So I think we started this one ten seconds. So you find the time where you click this button, and then everything before that you delete. So it's right about there. Everything before that, you reject selection. It's just like, no. Reject selection. So, anyway, I was saying I was rudely interrupted by someone. Let me adjust my microphone because now I have a better chair. Anyway, so I was just interrupted by someone and just my pop filter um 
so now we can continue with the thing so once you have this trimmed so as you can see right when this starts we click the button if you can probably delete this point one seconds which may not seem to like a lot but it actually kind of matters because later it'll help you so then what you do is you take this thing and then you put it up here and then you take your face cam and then put it up here now you can see, see that green little bar well you go right in front of it just so it disappears until you get this menu you look picture in picture and then you see this thing where you can adjust it move it around and stuff I prefer to use it up here you can also put it down here and stuff but you just leave it up here and then uh, go over here okay you click done now that that's all good um once you have that, you have to do the very important job of aligning the audio. Let's turn this off. Let's see here. Not sure it's done, but not much. It's pretty much good now. But anyway, so as you can see, yeah, yeah. So, so this, this is, is, is a video, and, and as you can see, it's kind of like it's like one thing says another, then the next thing says it like a second after or like half a second after so what you have to do is you have to either trim off little bits of this thing here which is if there's um basically you can uh, move this thing around so basically you move it up let's see what happens and you don't actually have to get it perfect, you have to get it, um, like, kind of close. Because that would take kind of a long time, but, I mean, you don't have a lot of time, but whatever. Anyway, um, so you don't want to, you don't have to get it perfect. And then once you get it pretty much perfect, or almost perfect, you can do, you can mute the audio on either this top track or this bottom track. I'll show you how to do that, but I have to align it first. So, what you can do sometimes is see if the motion on in um on this thing is aligned with the motion or motion and if you have it like this if the motion in here is the same as the motion here and that will kind of help you so you can um move this thing around to see how it would um how it will work and basically once you get it close or pretty close so there's only like a point like one second away between the audio you can basically just mute one of the audio and then and then you have a face cam so I'm gonna adjust this uh, and I'll be back with you once I do that okay actually never mind you don't move this because that actually like cuts off video from here because this is same at the bottom here well yeah, basically, so this basically cuts off video from the end, which you don't want. So what you do is you take tiny little sections of this video, and then you right-click, reject selection. I'm not going to do that because um, that's not what I want to do, but basically, you keep doing that, and if you want to put some back, you do Command-Z. Uh, just a quick tip. And if you, like, cut off too much... Um, and then basically you do that and I'll show you the next step once you're done doing that. So I'll see you then. Oh, and by the way, you can um, probably put this forward a tiny little bit like this one because it doesn't cut off a bit too much. It'll be just a good kind of thing. So it won't really notice it that much. And once you get it pretty much this, like this, um, you can do the next step, which is to mute one of the tracks. So if you don't know how to do that, you go to settings audio adjustments you turn this to uh, the bottom click done if you want to, to originally you would click that obviously 
Um, so I just muted this top one, and now once you play it. Yeah, so this is a video, and um, I'm going to go on Google Chrome, close that for a second, and I'm going to search hello, and by the way, hello. And basically, that's the finished video, and I, uh, now you just export it, so if you don't do that, you go to share. I can just do like iTunes or just export movie. If you can put it on Final Cut XML, whatever. Um, you can also do this on an iReport video, whatever you want. Well, but me, no one uses well, but me. Why is that there? No one knows. Facebook's so much better, even though I don't use it. I shouldn't be putting my opinion about it, but now I'm randomly, so I'm gonna stop. Uh, so basically, you. So, yeah, and you can remove from whatever you did. Oh, how does that even work? I don't know. Um, and, yeah, actually I'm going to put this back because it makes really no difference. And it just cuts off video here, so, uh, anyway guys, that was, and girls, that was how to, I'm not sexist, that was how to, um, make a face cam, such as this one, in your video. I hope this helped. And I shall see you next time on the Gaming and Tech Crew. Peace.